yeah i know that this video was not particularly very clear but thank you for watching and i hope it helped you the main things to remember is that you've got a margin that needs to be at 90 degrees to the long x of the tooth right like that and that the tooth is reduced always in biplanar reduction that means there are two planes in which the tooth is redu reduced one is the cervical plane and the other becomes the incisal plane which is slightly angled and i think that is abundantly clear from the bit uh, from the production that we did so just to take this out maybe show you once again it might help you okay yeah so i think i can show it to you here so you can see clearly there is a biplanar reduction so, yeah and i'm going to try to show it to you so this is the one plane and this is the second plane and like i told you before this plane needs to be parallel to the bottom plane there so this should be parallel to this so this that's important this and this should be parallel and this is the other plane and your single limb reduction you need to check with a jig if possible to give you much more clearer understanding as to whether you need to reduce any more so that's my parallel reduction as you can see how it's been reduced yeah no sharp point angles and this is the portion i was telling you about the bevel Usually in a reduction, you end up doing it like this, flat. But remember in an old ceramic crown, it's always better to give an incisor, incisor bevel so that there is no direct contact of the opposing lower teeth onto a sharp line angle. Then make sure that it's all rounded off and smooth. And that really helps the longevity of the old ceramic crown.